What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock your iPhone 3GS on T-Mobile's network on firmware 5.1.1 with the 5.16.05 baseband. Now in order to unlock, we will need to jailbreak our device, and of course that's all part of the process. Now the good thing is that this jailbreak will be untethered, meaning if your battery dies or you need to reboot your iPhone, you will not need a computer to do that. Your iPhone can now reboot itself on its own. Also this will work on any Mac or Windows computer and the unlock itself will work on any worldwide carrier so that includes T-Mobile here in the US or any other GSM SIM card around the world and this unlock will actually be very easy very fast now there is a warning it will not work on all iPhones particularly the newer 3 GSs, because they do contain a newer baseband chip which means if you try to unlock using this method and you have the new iPhone with the new baseband Toshiba chip your iPhone can become permanently bricked and of course I will show you guys how to determine if your iPhone is running the new baseband chip in just a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Now on your iPhone, you wanna make sure you are running the latest 5.1.1 firmware as you can see right there. So just go into general and software update and you can update your iPhone firmware here if it's not on 5.1.1 and you will not lose your data or anything on your iPhone by doing this process unless you mess up and if you have to restore, of course, you will lose your data. So make sure to back up in iTunes if you're new to this and you don't really know what you're doing. Back up in iTunes so in case anything goes wrong, you can restore all your stuff. Now on your desktop, you will need to download one thing and that's Red Snow 0.9.14 beta 1, of course, all links can be found down below in the description as well as a written guide and quickly before we begin I just wanted to make sure none of you brick your devices on accident and you can make sure your iPhone is fully compatible with this unlock by checking in settings you want to go to general about and we're gonna take a look at the serial code now we're gonna take a look at the third fourth and fifth number in your serial code for me that's 017 and they basically mean when your iPhone was made so for me that's 017 the zero or the third number stands for the year your iPhone iPhone was made in. For me, the zero represents 2010. If you have a one, that'll be 2011, or if it's a nine, that's 2009. Now, the fourth and fifth numbers represent the week number your iPhone was made in. For me, that's one seven. That means my iPhone was made in the 17th week of 2010. Now, you want to watch out for iPhones that were made on or after the 34th week of 2011. So that's a 134. If it's earlier than 134, you are good. If your iPhone was made on or after the 34th week of 2011, it will get bricked if you attempt this unlock permanently. Make sure your iPhone is plugged in and we're going to right click on Red Snow, hit run as administrator. That's if you're on Windows, click yes. And now before hitting jailbreak, we're going to power down our iPhone because if we do hit jailbreak without powering it down first, it will automatically jailbreak and then we won't be able to select the options we want. So you want to make sure your iPhone is off before hitting jailbreak. Well, okay. So now we're going to move this aside and hit jailbreak. I'm going to click next and we're going to put our device into DFU mode. So hold the power for 3, 2, 1 together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. You can let go when Red Snow recognizes your device and now just give it a second and it'll present you with the option menu. And once we're at this option menu, you're going to select install iPad baseband and it'll present you with this little pop-up where it warns you about the newer baseband iPhones. We already talked about this. Yes, I want to do this. I am compatible. And now you're going to hit next. And this will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's done, I'll be right back. And once Red Snow finishes, your iPhone will reboot. You'll find City on your springboard and you want to open that up and there will be an initial setup I already set mine up so what you're gonna to want to do is search for ultra snow and once you find it you're gonna select it and we're gonna select install if you have a sim card in your iPhone remove it before installing and we're gonna confirm that and you'll select ok and you're gonna select restart springboard once it's done respringing make sure you have your T-Mobile sim card ready we are gonna be inserting it into our iPhone now so you want to slide to unlock and then go ahead and insert your T-Mobile SIM card. And usually it does take around five minutes to find your service, so be patient, eventually it will find your T-Mobile service. And there you go, my iPhone has found T-Mobile service. You guys are now fully jailbroken, untethered, unlocked on iOS 5.1.1. Now if any of you guys do have GPS issues where your GPS isn't working, it's a fairly common problem with the 6.15.00 baseband. You wanna make sure to check out my 6.15.00 baseband downgrade video, which will show you how to fix 
fix that problem. And you can find it right here in the annotations. So be sure to check that out. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. I really hope this helped. So please like and favorite. It does help me a lot. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions. I will try to answer them. And of course, subscribe for future videos. And of course, subscribe for future videos. Enjoy your unlocked iPhone, guys. Peace.